guys, it's Jack from Speed Bump Garage, and today we're gonna be working on our lawnmower again. And I started tinkering with it, and it happens that I did get it unlocked that last episode. This will actually be the second episode on working on it. So if you haven't seen the first episode, go check that out. But I put some vinegar in the engine block and tried to get it unlocked, and I ended up getting it unlocked, but it was still hitting something, so we got it tipped over on its back wheels and it ended up that clutch this thing for the deck was hitting the pulley it basically this thing was hitting my clutch bracket down there so i pulled the deck off I pulled that thing off and I put the pulley that was driving the belt. That's all we needed because we don't need the deck. And I took, we ended up pulling the heads off of the lawnmower and they looked good. We cleaned the valves and then we put them back on there and we didn't have any new head gaskets. So we ended up putting new, not new head gaskets, the one that were just in there. So that may be a problem, but then our starter was bad. So I took the flywheel off, I pulled the starter off, which was right here, and here's our old starter. I pulled the bottom off of it to see if I could fix it, but it seems like all the magnets are broken down in there, and I ordered a new starter. So hopefully we can get it to turn over today and hopefully maybe start. So let's get to work. I think the first thing that we're going to have to do. Let's get this air cleaner out of the way. Is I'm going to take some scotch bright and go around. I think this is the generator. I'm not sure, but we're going to go around and scotch bright some of these. Clean those up and then clean these ends of that up. And then we'll put the new starter on. And put the flywheel back on and try to turn it over. Now, we're going to put our new starter on. Take these bolts out. Here is my new shiny starter. It doesn't match anything on this lawnmower. <laughs> Let's see if it fits first. Let's peel one out of the way. Looks like that's good. Put this on there. Uh oh, I always drop everything. Ugh. I'm gonna go get the right size of wrench, tighten that down, and then I'm gonna pull the starter out here and we're gonna try to get this thing to turn over. Actually, I lied to you guys. We still have to put the flywheel back on. and tie it on there. Now, I got the battery charger hooked up to it. Nice and tight. Now, I'm gonna turn it on and try to crank it over. Hopefully, cross your fingers that that starter works. There's my dad. guys as you've seen it actually turns over now that's so exciting and 
I just realized I was so excited to put this together and actually make it turn over that I forgot to clean the engine. Just look how much dirt and grime is in that flywheel. <laughs> so, now that we know that it turns over, I'm going to take a few minutes to power wash and clean this engine out, and then we can put the flywheel back on, and hopefully we can get it to start. Looks a lot better. And I also got the flywheel clean. That looks a hundred times better. And then we went in with a wire brush and cleaned the edges off of that. So hopefully it will start up now. So I'm gonna throw the starter and the flywheel on again, hopefully for the last time. And we're gonna try to fire these up. I went to put the flywheel back on and I realized I didn't have my key for my keyway, so we made a stop and ran to Atwoods, or Ace and Atwoods actually, and I actually got two new spark plugs, and I got three new keyways, and these were actually $5 originally, and we lucked out and got them on sale at Ace for $0.60, cents. so we saved some money there and we got three keyways and hopefully they fit in our flywheel and then I got one other thing I got I got a spring which I think I'm gonna um, make a foot pedal a gas pedal for this so I may use that later all right guys I have my battery charger hooked up and I also got my two strip fuel I thought I'd try to use that to get it started so I'd loom up the engine a little bit more. So we're going to try to start this thing. First attempt. Drink it. It is two days later and as you can see we have the lawnmower inside because it is currently raining outside and after messing with some stuff we didn't have spark and we determined that our ignition coil was bad so as you can see we have a brand new one on there we ordered one off Amazon and we just tested it to see, or I just tested it to see if it had spark and it has spark now so hopefully and we can start it. Here you go. <laughs> Round two was not successful, so I'm gonna pull my plugs off and see if they're sparking. I pulled the plugs and they look really bad. But good thing I bought two new ones at Atwoods when we were there um, a couple days ago. So I'm going to grab those. We're going to put them in real fast and hopefully it'll start now. Round three and I apologize for the rain noise. I'm so excited to try to start this thing. We're not going to wait for it to quit. So let's get started for round three. <laughs> got a bad compression leak on this cylinder for sure right at the split line so yeah we need head gaskets yeah. we're gonna have to order a pair of head gaskets and everything's here that we should be able to make some noise I don't know if it's gonna drive but I think we can make it run yeah. so. 
We will be back for round four. At least Jack will be back for round four. I'm super proud of him. He's pretty much got this car on his own. I did help him troubleshoot the coil the other night, but other than that, what you see here, he's done by himself. So, other than reusing the head gaskets, which was a gamble that didn't pay off, everything's gone pretty well. So we'll see you guys when we get some new head gaskets. We ran to town. We picked up some head gaskets at the lawnmower shop. And I pulled my heads off, and look how clean it is inside my engine. I cleaned it up with some scotch right. Look in there. It's not too bad how compared to how everything else looks. There's that side. Man, there's my heads. I'm not going to flip them over because all the bolts will fall out of them. We're going to put the gaskets in. And hopefully it'll start and we don't need any more parts. Cross your fingers. She is ready for round three or four, I can't remember, but Hopefully, he starts. Come on. like it wanted to start we're having battery issues right now so it'll be a minute and we'll be back for round number I don't know <laughs> to kind of start it was almost there I think we may have found the plug so we're gonna pull the plugs and look at them Fuel on the bowl and see what happens. You're gonna have to take this carburetor apart, I think. You think? Alright, crank her over. exciting at one point we thought this mower was done and now it runs so we a, the first thing it needs is a oil change and there's this oil valve right here oil drain valve there it went. oh look how milky that is Oh. 
Now, I'm going to set you guys up, and we're going to take the top off of that carburetor. Alright, I got the four screws out of there. Now, let's just carefully bring this up, if it's going to. I'm not sure why I can't get this to come off. I'm kind of scared to use all my... Strength. Oh, Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. I don't want to break the gasket in there, and then we'll have to make another run to town or order another gasket. For whatever reason, the remainder of Jack's clips from that day don't have any audio, but as you can see there, he did get the carburetor apart. The float looks really good right there. The inside of that carburetor was surprisingly clean. It was extremely clean. It probably didn't even need to come apart. But since this clip, the mower is completely back together. And I think it's time we go take this unit for a test ride. <laughs> It's been a few days since we got the old mower running and Jack has continued modifications to the mower off camera and he has actually been driving it. Yeah. Tell us what all you've done. So I put a gas pedal on it is one of the big things. I took a brake pedal and a, I'm not sure what this was, but I drilled a hole through this for a cable stopper. I ran the cable all the way up to the throttle and put a return spring and I actually bypassed the governor. The governor that's down here, there was a... What did you do that for? So I can get a little bit faster. There was a rod running from here to here and the old throttle cable used to hook up to right here. And I just bypassed that and hooked it up onto there. Clean the fuel tank. It's got a new fuel filter on there. And then we, as you can see, we put the engine back together, or all the heat panel stuff on it. And we put a new battery new on battery. it. New battery. So what are you building this thing for? The off-road club is hosting a off-road lawnmower, like rock crawling. It's called King of the Trimmers. And if you know about King of the Hammers, they just put trimmers in there for lawnmowers, so I'm going to make it an off-road rock crawling machine. <laughs> well, you want to show us a test ride? Yep. thing ever. Yeah, it seems pretty slow. <laughs> but it does fire right up. Yeah. It brought it back to life. Fires right up every time.
This is gonna be test number one of the crawling skills. Jack's gonna try to go up this old storm shelter. Where's my screwdriver? You hand over the key, Dad. would say the abandoned lawnmower build has been pretty successful. We took it from a completely locked up lawn tractor to something you can cruise around here and even do a little crawling with. Yeah. What are your other plans for it? Well, I want to put bigger tires on it. Maybe get some bigger tires for the front and then these don't hold there. Hey, get something to catch that oil leak. Oh, yeah. Leaking oil all over my concrete. I think it's leaking out the little valve access door right there. So add that to your list of things you need to do. Okay, we need to fix the oil leak. Put more bigger tires on it. Or at least some tires that are gonna hold air. Yeah. What else? And I think I want to lock the back the back diff. And I'm not sure if you can do that on a hydrostatic lawnmower. I need to do some research because when you, I had this tire off the ground earlier, as you see when I was crawling, I had to bounce it up and down. And if I would have had it locked, that one would spin too, and I wouldn't have had that problem. And then the rules say you have to have a tethered kill switch, so we'll, we'll do that. And I'm not sure what else. You guys, if you want to see me do anything, to this just leave it down in the comments moving forward the rest of the content on this mower will be on jack's channel so if you haven't followed grow jack outdoors make sure you go follow him he's going to finish prepping this mower for the off-road race and maybe we'll try to find another one that we'll prep on this channel i don't know we might take two mowers i think it's going to be a lot of fun guys thank you so much for watching hang around we'll be back on cars really soon we're actually filming some content this weekend so I really appreciate you watching, and we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.